Hey guys, it's your boy Andre Salazar. You're watching The Art of Comics, and today we're going to talk about Sergio Topi's The Collector. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It is your boy, Andre Salazar. This is the art of comics. We're talking about Sergio Topi. And let me tell you, um, I was just introduced to Topi, like, just last year. I did not know him. I am getting more into the Euro comics in the last couple of years. And so I've heard of him. This Italian guy is great, blah, blah, blah. But I picked this up. I think I bought it on eBay. I can't remember. This is um, by Arcadia. I don't. I think they're still doing some other books. Uh, Enchanted Forest, I think, is another one that that he did that they're uh, reprinting here in, in America. And when I got this book, I was blown away. And we got to talk about it here. It is some of my serious favorite stuff ever. The line work is just brilliant. This guy is the real freaking deal. Um, I just I just can't say enough good things about it. This is uh, I mean just look at that right there. Just look at this the the lettering, you know, with him right here. Just a, such a great freaking image, man. This guy. When we look at this today, you're gonna see shades of a lot of people. You're going to see stuff like um, Sink uh, Sinkevich. You're going to see a lot of stuff that, that you can tell is inspired uh, by this. And it is just freaking good. Uh, there's just no other word for it. And I'm stoked to kind of show it to you. So let's, uh, let's get it on and let's, let's talk about Topi here. Okay. So one of the things about this book is... Uh, it's all black and white, of course, as you can tell, and it is just filled with amazing line work. And he's using it. I. It looks like he's using all kinds of stuff, but I would say mostly he's using a pen, of rapidograph or some sort, and the the types of hatching and. Um, line stuff that he's doing is just amazing and it is so good um yeah it's great stuff look here you can tell the the line work here the kind of hatching and cross hatching that he's putting in here is just fabulous uh it's not all the same way he's mixing it around the beautiful darks look at this one simple simple kind of singular line that then cuts into the the panel border for the smoke of the gun it's just brilliant contrast again you see that a lot with Sienkiewicz heavy detail in certain areas very juxtaposition to very sparse shape like images um, this is a story it's just kind of a set of of short stories about the collector this guy who's just um, kind of all powerful and and clever in in getting these rare uh, kind of mystical artifacts from different uh, Aboriginal cultures. So there's a story where he's in you know Ireland, a story he's in Africa, and these different places around the world, uh, you know, in Asia, getting these artifacts from these are Aborigines or um, these other kind of nefarious characters that he kind of uh, tricks or or gets, and it's just really bright. Great. I mean, this art is just, it's incredible. I mean, this was done a while back. Um, and you can tell that the, the big artists in the 80s were influenced by this. And they saw this and like, oh man. Um, I mean, just the hat alone, just the definition, all the different types of lines and the different um, directions to create volume is just really uh, brilliant. Really highly recommend checking out Topi. I'd love to see some of his colored work, and I'm going to get some colored stuff of his because I want to see his painting skills and how that looks. But this stuff, this black and white, is amazing. Look at that face. Look at this right here. Just really great stuff. Really wonderful um, how it's just being 
being rendered. I think uh, this book is just crazy. And the design too, you can tell he's doing a lot of research for these designs and you know some creativity and some fantasy mixed in with these um, these American Indian um, these characters uh, just really really neat stuff very well fleshed out uh, the anatomy the volume creating a lot of volume in these drawings um, which is which is really fun to see in the line work and I hope that my camera's picking this up because it, it really is uh, something to behold. And I, again, go get it. I don't work for these guys, but I love it. Uh, again, And he does a great use also of putting the sound effects. You know, I cannot do this to save my life. I want to do better at my next book. Really putting in this these sound effects in the art, um, kind of connecting it and really making it uh Design, make it look design that it works. Uh, oh, I love the, I love the kind of leather boot, you know, a bit there. There's just a lot of really cool moments. This is a great panel here too. Um, just the way this is, these guys. I mean, if you look at the just the line work again, um, just looks really neat. These kind of three musketeer type of Puritan almost looking guys. He does a great, it's not just figures and faces, which is brilliant, you know, and they're all kind of gnarled and weathered faces, but um, his vistas and his backgrounds and the scenery and landscapes are really well done. And I mean, this book almost feels like a, um, you know, um, Cormac McCarthy type of book. You know, this is like The Road or a, a Blood Meridian or something like that, you know, with this kind of a deserty western uh kind of look to it uh, just brilliant stuff i love that that tomahawk peace pipe he's got everything is very well done again see that it's really nice the black this is like a custard kind of type of character that definitely gives you give you a custard feel in fact it might be uh yeah it is custard yeah i thought so Really neat. Um, great horses. Just, yeah, this guy is the real deal. He's a Italian artist. Just look at that. Isn't that great? He is, I would love to see his roughs. I would love to see pencils. I don't know how tight he was on that. Beautiful. This is the book. I mean, all this stuff. Look at the design of that. It's a great page. Love the way it kind of starts out here and then it just kind of cuts in and it kind of still staying with this geometric kind of squares, but now it's like parts of the clothing. Um, just really great. So now we're into this other story. I think there's like four different stories, um, four or five, and there is a little bit of connection with them. Uh, they are kind of on their own, but but you do get at the end a kind of a connection with some of the other stories that come together. Um, I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, of course, but it is really stinking good um and i just felt like you guys have to see this you have to get topi get some of the other stuff now a lot of the stuff of course is not translated the majority of his work of course is in europe um we're just now getting some of that over the last year or two uh again archaea did this one and i'm not sure if they're going to be doing the other ones or uh who has got the rights for those translations um, for all I know, Titan Books, you know, I don't know, but hopefully they'll be coming out and we'll be getting, I know there's at least two more volumes of his work that's going to be in the same kind of format as this that are coming out, and I don't know uh, what else, but hopefully there'll be some more stuff because it is definitely worthy of studying and just kind of learning from. Just brilliant use of negative space here. The black, the white, great use of, you know, just tones, when to lay down, a lot of detail, when not to, is um, is what it's about. I mean, this is great right there, just, just really neat. Um, and, you know, this blackness just really makes this pop out more 
and you know we really pay attention to all these little lines in the in the desert so brilliant stuff huge fan of his wanted you guys to see it um we meet some characters just really great stuff again i keep saying the same thing over i apologize Not too many females in this story, but there's this one, and I won't spoil it. She's she's something else. Oh, and here's the story of in Ireland, and I love the stonework here. This is a great. I love this stuff here. I love the rocks, you know, and I love the stark black. Really cool. I just really love the stones um, in these pages here. They're at this like cemetery. It's a great hat, great face, man. That is amazing. I love that. So good. Yeah, it just looks like, I mean, just almost photos. It's just so, it's brilliantly done. Anyway, this is, um, oh, look at that page. That's a great page, too. This is Topi. This is The Collector. And uh, this is one of my favorite books. Definitely highly, highly recommend it. Go get this book. Get the other ones. Uh, he's the man. And thanks so much for checking this out. Please, uh, you know, link, subscribe, and all that. And I will talk to you guys uh, next week. Thanks so much.